Hi everyone, Rick here with Rick's 135 scale models. I'm going to be doing another review. This will be a little different. This is going to be on an airbrush made by Border Models. Uh, this is their Black Flame. They have two versions of this. The, uh, this version and a version 2. Um, honestly, I meant to get the version 2, but this is what I ended up with, uh, which is fine. I have researched and can't figure out the difference other than one minor point which I'll point out shortly, but let's take a look at the uh, airbrush itself. comes in a uh, pretty heavy duty box, no big deal there. Instructions, um, very limited and uh, a lot of translation errors in them. They do give you a nice schematic on the uh, parts itself, uh, which a lot of other airbrushes don't necessarily have, but uh, there's not a lot to it as it is. Airbrush itself comes like this. You do get a uh, quick release tab and two different tips. One tip is your standard tip here or you get this type which has the uh, cuts in it to help disperse the air when you're painting. Also a, a small wrench to remove the uh, tip inside. Um, the airbrush itself on uh, initial look is nice. It's well made. The balance is nice. I'm um, comparing it with an Iwata uh, HPCS um, they're obviously different looking but the Iwata is heavier uh, the feeling of both are pretty much the same so we'll, we'll do a comparison here shortly on the two qualities but going back to this airbrush what I like about it is you have an adjustment in the back to control your paint flow you can turn this in and out to get a different paint flow um, what I noticed is the version 2 in this in all my research so far, the only differences I can find are on the version 2, this is opened up such as an Awada so that you can get to this little tightening device for the uh, tip itself. This doesn't have that. So obviously if you need to get into it, you have to open this all up. Um, the airbrush itself, as I said, is a nice weight. Uh, the functions on all, when I initially got it, were a little rough. All I had to do was oil it and now it works like a dream. Um, you have your cap or cover. The thing I like about this airbrush is your uh, cleaning aspect is a lot easier. This unscrews, you can get into the bowl area there. There's a large chamber but with a Q-tip it's easy to clean. Um, taking this apart, it comes right off. You can, like a lot of airbrushes, undo this thing and pull your needle out. What I did notice is, and I can't see it in there, but I can feel it, there's a gasket when you stick the needle in here, and it goes down in right somewhere down there. That's nice because then you shouldn't get any paint flowing back into here, which I get with my Iwata. This comes apart just like an Iwata as far as unscrewing it. Uh, they look very similar, although I tried comparing them. They don't, they're not interchangeable. You've got your spring there and there. What I like about this company's airbrush is this aspect. In an Iwata you have a large little pin that you have to align and go straight down in that goes down into the valve here. This has this little device and you just have to set that on the uh, little connection point down there which is a lot easier as I'm getting older I've noticed that. The other thing I like about this is here's your tip it comes with. In the uh, Iwata, you can't clean any of this. In this one, you can unscrew this. There's your tip. Now you can get to all this in there where the paint might get into and you can clean it and you don't have to take anything apart. Here's your plunger for your airflow. The tip itself, you have that tip that you can put in and then you undo the, the cover for the uh, main tip and there it is. And then you have your little wrench that they provide to undo that tip. In an Awata, they have the same tip, but they don't give you a wrench for it, so you have to do, deal with it yourself. On top of it, it sits on another device that pops out and you can easily lose. So you just unscrew it and you take it off. And there's your tip, identical to a, a WADA. Inside here, you can 
kind of see in there, you've got a pretty large bowl area there. I was kind of concerned, and once I used it and cleaned it, um, I'm not worried anymore. There's a gasket here. Um, you've got some cleaning areas in there, all of it you can get to. Uh, this pin actually comes out there if you need to clean in there, which is no big deal. And it's pretty easy to get back in. just by bringing it inside and setting it in there. But you can take the gun apart nicely, clean it up nice, and put it back into service quickly. The airbrush itself comes with this. It doesn't come with anything else. Um, so it comes with this quick release cap. The interesting thing about it is, as you can notice, it's all uh, cleaned off here. It didn't fit in to my standard universal one here. So in looking at it and comparing it to my Iwata, it was just a little bit bigger, very, very paper thin. So I took some sandpaper and started uh, sanding on it to bring down the metal a little bit. And lo and behold, this paper thin sheet came off, which was their probably their chrome coating. Once that peeled off, it actually ripped off, ripped off like a piece of paper. It fits fine now and absolutely no issues whatsoever. So there in their process, they fit this perfectly, and then when they covered it with chrome, it no longer fit in properly. Well, that was a pretty easy fix, though. Um, other aspects of it, like I said, you can get different bowl sizes. Um, this is about the right size bowl. I've used it uh, a bunch so far here uh, since I got it this morning, and um, it worked out fine. So let me get this back together, and then we'll uh, do some test spraying. Okay, so let's do some comparisons on the two airbrushes. Now, one thing I'll say right up front, this is a .3 and this is a .2. So theoretically, the border should give you a tighter airbrush versus the Iwata. But I'm more of looking at the quality of the airbrushes versus the size. You can upgrade the Iwata to that. Mind you, you're going to have to spend an additional $30, and this airbrush runs, ran me, for example, $150. Um, you might be able to find it cheaper here and there, but you'd have to look around. The biggest advantage and the reason why I got this is I, sp I spent $52 for this brush. So, that's why I want to give it a try. So, initially I'm just going to be using a, a Tamiya acrylic. I did use uh, some... Uh, model AV uh, paint. Um, I've had mixed results with this. It is, seems to clog the gun after a little while and, and I pretty much had the same uh, response with the border. It wasn't anything better or worse using that paint. Now the uh, Tamiya acrylic I'm using is uh, watered down the way it's supposed to be um, for airbrushing which is this is a brand new bottle and you fill it up to kind of if you kind of see there where it is and uh, a little bit of paint in there and then we'll get to painting. So I'm using 22 PSI and I've got this currently wide open. Um, you get your normal flow when you squeeze, you'll get your air control, then when you pull backwards you'll uh, get the paint to start to flow. And Right at the top, there's no issues. It gets well controlled. It balances nicely. The thing I like about it is, uh, trying to demonstrate here, you can get a real fine line. And as you slowly pull backwards, you'll get a wider and wider line. If you want to do white coating full blast, it definitely can uh, paint heavily. The nice thing about this is you have this adjustment where you can tighten this in and then you can control how much paint you want coming out. That's the main reason I also got this. So you can set it to where however much you want. I've pulled all the way back. You can tighten it down a little more. And get your fine lines. I 
I've run about two bowls of paint through it so far and have had no issues with it clogging or gumming up. It seems to work quite routinely without any issues. Okay, so now let's use the exact same paint with the Iwata and compare. Now, Iwata, you can buy some aftermarket products to get that little adjustment in the back, but this one doesn't have that, so you have to do everything the same way. You've got your airflow control, and then you pull it back to paint. Paint-wise, you get right about the same size line, maybe a little different. When you want to get close, you have to a lot more control. And although you might be able to get the line, it's not quite as tight, but that's just because the other airbrush does have a smaller tip on it. But with an Awada, you can accomplish the same goal as the border. But, like I said, under $60, $150. So, you know, depending on what you want to do, there's where you're uh, kind of, for me, the big thing's going to be if I can get the same quality airbrush for a lot less, and I also get this extra little tip in the front versus you can buy one here to change it out. I can't have this on this, but the newer version of this does have this same adjustment point here, so you can do that if it gets loose. Uh, the only thing I would ever consider here is if it gets loose, I don't know of any other reason why that's open. You still have to unscrew this to take the needle out and everything. But, and then when it comes to cleaning, the border I think is an easier gun to clean than here. They do have a, a black coating on here. I've put the different uh, cleaning products on it and I haven't got it to change it or do anything to it at all so far. Um, the instructions do say it's for using for models, so only use your enamel or your acrylic. I, I'm assuming you could use it for food product, painting, airbrushing also if you wanted to, but they don't mention it one way or the other. Um, the Awada, you're buying a fancy name brand, you're buying a high quality airbrush, and you know, I have no issues. I love this air gun, and I'm definitely going to keep using it. Um, but for your money, you're going to get the same quality airbrush with the border for a lot less money. And with that, you can use it for other things depending on your budget. Um, if it gets the job done, then you know, it's up to you. But I definitely would not have any issues using this in. I'm glad I bought it, and I will continue to use it for different aspects of my painting. So once again, that's my review of the uh, my new border, Black Flame. It's a 2.0 tip, and I'm very happy with it. I highly recommend it. Um, if you're looking to buy an airbrush, a WADA, you'll never be unhappy with it, but you're going to pay a lot. Um, the Border Model Black Flame Pro, outstanding airbrush. I have no issues whatsoever. My, my concerns aren't there anymore after using it. It is a hint lighter than the Iwata. Um, it has the same feel, it has the same paint quality, it responds the same to paint. Um, I don't think you would be disappointed whatsoever. I got this from a company out of Australia. It took me about two and a half weeks. Um, they're kind of hard to find and unless you speak Chinese, you can't really go to Borders website and try to learn anything because it's all in Chinese and it's almost impossible to get any information from them. But they do make a nice airbrush and um, I would recommend it to anybody. Anyway, everybody take care. Thank you for watching.